haven't done a review in a while. Um, so actually I'm going to do a couple reviews coming up because there are things that people ask me about and I was kind of like, yeah, I'll do it and then I didn't do it and they probably already watched the other YouTube videos about it, but oh well, I'll do it anyway. Hey. So the product I'm reviewing today is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. This is semi-new. It came out in January and this is in the color 819 Medium. Um, the one thing I'm going to complain about, because I just want to get the complaints out of the way, is that I was so lucky that this matched me. And now that I'm getting a little bit darker, it's starting to kind of um, be a little bit light on me. Um, so that has nothing to do with my complaint. My complaint is is that they did not make enough, enough color choices. Um, I feel sorry for people that are darker, and I feel sorry for people that are not pinky and just all sorts of colors, you know, uh, that they could add to their, um, to their colors would be much better. They did it kind of like a BB cream. They kind of did a, like a light, medium, and a little bit dark, because even the one that I saw dark, I don't remember it being that dark. I mean, I bought this, I bought this a while ago. Anyway, so it took me a while to try this because I was like, if if you watch my channel, you know that the one thing that I do splurge on is my foundation. And I was like, do I really want to try this? But I got it because I got it on sale and I got it in a good deal. And I was like, I'm just going to try it. So um, I was actually really surprised um, that, first of all, like I said, that I got my skin tone color, which was really strange. Not lucky, I guess. Anyways, it says it's all day wear, which is true. I've, um, I've worn this out and about. Um, as you guys know, I'm a mom and stuff, so I've really actually tried this outside of the house. Um, medium to full coverage, yes. I think it's more of a full coverage than a medium. Unless you have maybe some discoloration, then it might be a medium coverage. But for me, it is a full coverage because, like, right now I have these breakouts and... I don't know if you can see them on video, but you can't really see them in person. It really depends on the lighting, but, um, yeah, because my face is going through funness right now, and I have a lot of redness right now, and you cannot see it. So that's good. Okay, and then it says, um, it is a lightweight satin matte finish. I don't know, to me it's a matte finish. Yeah, I guess I could see where they see the satin because it's not quite matte, matte, matte. So, like as if you have a powder on. But it's 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 pretty good. I like the coverage on it. I'm not wearing a powder or anything. I didn't want to wear a powder over it for a review. Um, for the review of this product. It has Vizzy Bright, whatever that means. It says, Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. Hmm, I didn't know that. Mm, I don't know about that claim. Yeah, it was a pretty good, a uh, pretty good foundation. Very cheap. You can find your color, or if this happens to match you, one of the three, I believe it's three colors only. And if you can still find this, because I haven't seen these anymore, um, since they got off their, you know, new racks and now they're on their regular racks. I don't, I don't know. I don't recall seeing this anymore. I might be totally wrong, but. If they have your color, try it out. It's really good. And it didn't make me break out or anything also. Um, and the smell it has kind of a, hmm, what do you call that? Like a, like a clay, play doh -y kind of smell. It's not really strong or anything. Like, I don't smell it on me. What I used to apply this with was my um, makeup brush. I don't know. It's either Sigma or Coastal Scents. One of the two. And, um, yeah, I noticed that when I used my hands for this product, it was so much work because it's like, because it's a thick foundation. Like, do you see how thick that is? It is a, it is a pretty thick <laughs> foundation. Like, you have to really work it in. And for this, a little bit goes a long way. Um... Yeah, see, look. So I recommend it. I recommend either using 
um, a brush or maybe a sponge would work too, but I don't really do sponges. I did make a video of me putting it on so you can kind of see the before and after. It wasn't today like when I said I'm really red, but I think I was pretty, because like I said, my skin's kind of been going through a funk. So um, I'm pretty sure, sorry, I'm rubbing in. Um, anyways, so um, here's a little video. really soon and um, tell me if you guys have tried this um, what did you think about it did you think it sucked how did it work for your skin what kind of skin do you have oh that's another thing I forgot to say but right now my skin is combination oily mostly oily with dry skin because I don't know getting older has just done havoc to my face things to look forward to when you get older girls anyways that was it. Um, if you have any comments um, about this product or more questions, um, leave it down below. Tell me what you guys thought about this. If you have any video responses or whatever, leave them down below. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Keek, Vine. Can I keep going? I'm on everything. So you guys follow, follow, follow. Except for Tumblr. I really don't. I don't get Tumblr. So, yeah.